Hello and welcome to Musto Invest in Cambodia. Today I'll be updating to you the latest information about investing in real estate and land in Cambodia. So as all of you know, the price of real estate in Cambodia has increased dramatically in the last 20 years and the country was in ruins after the end of the war with the guerrillas of Pol Pot and also with the Vietnamese forces that were in the country in the previous years. And when Hun Sen took power in the 1990s, Cambodia soon developed in one of the fastest growing countries in Southeast Asia. And of course, prices have increased so much over the last 20 years. And in fact, land keeps doubling in price. However, when the pandemic happened at the start of 2020, the prices of real estate in Cambodia have slightly gone down by something like 20 to 30 percent. And right now, actually, with the country being closed, it's a good opportunity for you as an investor to buy land in Cambodia. And you may ask yourself, but how can you buy land in Cambodia if you're a foreigner? Well, I can tell you that there are many Japanese, Korean, Chinese investors that are right now in Cambodia. They are looking for land and trying to find land at the best price. If you want to come to Cambodia right now, you have to have an invitation letter. But if you're a serious investor, you can come to Cambodia and you can choose to purchase any land. There are some real estate agencies that can help you to buy land and then you have a partnership agreement with the company and yourself as a foreigner. So when you make such agreement, you will be able to use the land because most real estate companies in Cambodia are following the law in Cambodia. You can also make an agreement with Canadian Bank, which allows you to own land under the bank's name and insurance. The other option is to get Cambodian citizenship. As you know, Musto Invest in Cambodia also can help you to get Cambodia citizenship by investment of more than 1 million US dollars or donation of more than 250,000 US dollars. And talking about buying land in Cambodia, right now there is a gem in Kampung Spu province, not far from Phnom Penh, that I want to talk about. This land is 10,000 hectares big and there are plantations of mango of around 600 hectares, grass which can be used for soccer fields of 1,500 hectares, cane tree with 250 hectares, cashew nut trees with 260 hectares, and palm oil plantations of 1,600 hectares. Actually, this farm is located at a very good location, not far from Phnom Penh city. And it's located along road number 43, not far from the highway number four to Sianoquil. And like I said in the previous videos, if you want to invest in Cambodia, the agricultural sector is one of the best investments you can make because you can export cashew nut, mango or palm oil to other countries in Asia. The agricultural sector in Cambodia is not so developed at the moment. And if you are an investor and you want to invest in growing some cashew nuts or mango, or palm oil or other plantations, I think that it's a great opportunity. So this is a gem located in Kampung Spu province, 10,000 hectares. So I think that if you are there in your home country and you are waiting to come to Cambodia, I suggest you to check it out and contact Musto Invest in Cambodia for more information. I think you should 
take note that the best prices are during crisis. You can see the stock market crash in 2008. You can see the Bitcoin crash that happened. All crashes, including this pandemic, will have the best prices for real estate and land in Cambodia. This is all I have for today. For any questions or any advice about Cambodia, please feel free to contact us on our Facebook page, Instagram page, or contact me directly on WhatsApp or Telegram. So thank you so much. Like the video, share it to your friends, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification button, and I'll see you next time.